Okay guys, today we're going to be taking a look at quite possibly the only hatchet you'll ever need. The Grand Forest Brooks Wildlife Hatchet. Now, as I've grown as a woodsman, I used to love carrying around my axes, using my axes, and all of that fun stuff. And I still love axes, I still enjoy carrying them, and I do use them, but albeit a little bit less nowadays. And hatchets tend to be my kind of go-to, especially for day outings, because they're lightweight, they're portable, and they do the job that I need them to, just as well as an axe would, but without the added weight and size. So, that being said, in the past few years I've drifted more to hatchets and I've gotten a handful of them since that point. And the newest of them is the GBA Wildlife Hatchet. Now I'm not just saying that this is the greatest because it's the newest one that I got, but rather after doing quite a bit of research and really thinking about my needs and the general needs of bushcrafting and adventuring, this hatchet is far better suited. And the reason why I say that is due to its size and its overall build. Now, generally when we think about hatchets, at least in my use and in my experience, I use hatchets for a number of different things, but primarily trailblazing, assistance with firewood collection, primarily in limbing, cutting of small trees such as, or around wrist thickness and less, and doing things like trailblazing and material collection, things like collecting chaga or other different funguses and processing those funguses with the hatchet. So that those are the primary uses of a hatchet, at least for me. And I think those things considered, the wildlife hatchet is one of the more apt hatchets to use for that application because it is a 13 and a half inch overall size. It is very small and very easy to throw on a hammer loop or a little belt loop and carry without really noticing it. And the other thing is the head size itself albeit actually fairly small in the pole and in the overall head, has a very long blade. And what I like that they've done with the cutting edge on this is not only have they recessed the Scandi Vex grind up quite high, even higher than on their normal axes, so that you can use it like such and you can really choke up pretty well behind the um, cutting edge and get a really good grip to do more precise, more fine work. And like I said, having that pretty thin blade stock really allows you to do things like feather sticking and material processing with quite a good ease. In addition to that though, the wildlife hatchet is really, really quite a cutter. It's hard to emphasize in words, and that's why I'm rolling in some footage of just how you can see this thing is an absolute monster when it comes to cutting. Like I said, a wrist thick to smaller uh, saplings and small trees, this thing absolutely goes to town on them and gets the job done very well. In fact, I've compared this to my 16 inch hatchet uh, by Holtzbrook, the All Mike, and this thing actually outperforms the All Mike, even though the All Mike has a little bit heavier head and, of course, a little bit longer handle. The all Mike is not quite as good a cutter as this, the wildlife hatchet. And I think that goes back to GBA's kind of concept when it comes to grinding a hatchet. Like I said, you have a very tapered blade that allows you to just slice right through wood. That is also razor sharp. And also the ergonomics of the wildlife hatchet are very good. They look, albeit very plain from the start, but GBA has this great way of making their hatchets, their axes, and really everything just feel absolutely amazing in hand. And I don't know how they do it. I don't know what kind of, you know, sorcery they put into these particular uh, handle ergonomics, but every single GBA I hold, not just the wildlife hatchet, but including the wildlife hatchet, just feels amazing in hand. Even if you choke up, or if you're holding it about mid-length like that, or if you go all the way back to the pull, or sorry, the uh, fawn's foot of the handle, it just feels great, and it feels really right in the hand. Something that you don't often get out of a lot of uh, hatchets and axes is just that really good feeling of 
it feels almost like an extension of the body as opposed to an actual tool. So that's what I have to say about the ergonomics and the overall, uh, so that's what I have to say about the ergonomics of this hatchet. They are absolutely perfect. Going back to the weight of the head, it is spot on. I really can't say that I would want this hatchet to be much heavier than it is. And like I said, for a hatchet, you're not really going after big pieces of wood. And primarily, I'm using this in tandem with something like an axe or a saw to do a lot of limbing. And this is a very fast, lightweight, and agile limber. I mean, this thing can just move down a tree and just slice through multiple limbs in one swing. And uh, it does a really great job at that. And unlike an axe, if you're using this for limbing, it really doesn't tire you out that much because it is so lightweight and so ergonomic. It really takes a while to get fatigued using this tool. So there's really not too much more I can say about the wildlife hatchet. It looks very basic. It really is pretty basic overall but it gets its job done very well. And just like most GBA axes and hatchets, it's really spot on and I absolutely love it. The fitment is great and uh, everything in the second kind of cool department, so to speak, is there. You know, it has no fitment issues. It's rock solid, it's attached very well. And I have to say, uh, the mask itself is pretty darn good. It works just like you would hope it to. Uh, it's a pretty basic mask, but it does cover quite a bit of the hatchet overall. And uh, this is a pretty nice package that if you can afford a GBA, uh, this is certainly not a cheap one. This little hatchet comes in at about $160. But if you're seriously a user of your hatchets and your tools, you'll definitely appreciate this guy for crafting and for the wilderness. So anyways guys, that's really all I have to say about the GBA Wildlife Hatchet. It is an outstanding tool, highly recommend you pick one up, and I'm going to continue to love and use this one, and it has definitely become my go-to hatchet when I'm looking to throw a hatchet, my Laplander, my Baco Laplander, and my uh, Bark River Knives Bushcrafter all in a kit and go. This is the hatchet that I'm always grabbing. So. As always guys, God bless and I'm out.